Well, today I want to look at a super versatile plant that in recent years has all kinds of new varieties developed and really are quite amazing. What I'm going to be looking at today is the wonderful world of the stone crop. Stone crop because it almost seems to grow in very poor soil and it comes out of it. The common name though, you might know it as, is sedum. Now there are all different kinds, from tiny little leaf ones to larger ones, taller ones, things that look good later in the season, things that look good mid-season. Right down at my feet is a fine example of a ground cover sedum. And here it is. Now this one is called Westphalian Gold. I'm just gonna break off a little leaf and just show you. Look at that dentatum. It's got a very interesting leaf on there. And when it has the bright yellow little tabletop flowers, it looks really quite amazing. And there are lots of different kinds of these spreading ones. Oh, look at this. That's <laughs> right. Got myself sidetracked there. We've got a honeybee here on this little allium. And look at the wasps, the little dwarf. I can't call them dwarf, but a smaller variety of wasps. Busy. They really love that flower. Anyway, let's keep on focus here. Let's, uh, behind me is another one of these. And this is a typical example. I'm going to cut a bit off of a sedum. And now this is flowering, just finishing up. They form these little tabletop, almost like a yarrow-like flower. And what's interesting is that they are incredibly easy to propagate. By propagate, you can just pull off a little stem. I usually strip some leaves off and you can push that in the soil. And there's a good chance, maybe not later in the season, but early in the season that will root out. In fact, with the bigger ones, I'm gonna grab one from behind. There's one there. If you strip a leaf off, you can sometimes stick the leaf in some well-drained soil and it will form a tiny baby plant right there at where it joined the stem. Amazing plants. And some of them, I've got to go down behind me and grab a bunch, like this little one. This little devil will seed and, well, it won't seed, it will actually spread itself by breaking up its leaves. Um, the secret of sedum, though, is in the leaf. The leaf is just like a succulent. If you squish it, you'll get a lovely sap, almost like an agave plant. I'm just going to squish it there and all that gooey, soft stuff, full of moisture, which allows it to go through long, dry periods without water. Well, this one, I think, has a most outstanding kind of a smoky purple. It hasn't flowered yet, and when it flowers, it just sparkles. And I've got a, a similar new one in this pot here to plant next door to it. And you can just see the whole plant gets absolutely covered with flowers, just starting to open up here with a strong, deep pink color. And that purplish stem with a smoky purple leaf really makes a wonderful contrast. So if you plant it, like I planted it with this dark grass, or maybe some little cone flowers and another grass, it really looks truly remarkable. Right under my feet is the classic Sedum Autumn Joy. It's a spectabile, Sedum spectabile Autumn Joy. It's a tall sedum. It wants to come up about a foot, sometimes two feet high. As you can see with this one, this shrub here, which is suffering a bit in the drought, has been shading it out. So the poor plant is lurching towards the sun. So I'm gonna trim some of these branches out, a little bit more sunlight in, and hopefully it won't collapse anymore. The flowers are gonna be pink, and that's kind of nice. It's a perennial, the leaves will fall off, the seed head will stay, and it goes from pink to a burgundy color. And you've got lots of them here with this floating head of burgundy. Can be a nice winter attraction uh, in a grass garden. So how about this for a lovely little planting? Um, this little basket doesn't hold a lot of soil, so the sedum here makes a, a very useful, you don't have to water it too much, but it looks wonderful in it. Very, very nice. And it's kind of funny how you look around for sedum. This morning I went out there and had a look and uh, it's all over the place. Somebody, somebody here needs a little bit of a haircut too, maybe. There we go. Or maybe a parting right down the middle. What do you think? This is a Japanese ground cover sedum. It literally would just block everything out. It's flowered already, but look at it spread over the rocks tumbling down there. Now, sedum is so versatile, you can plant them with a lot of other plants. In fact, uh, I'm gonna show you a little planter here that's got a lot of other things that go very well. Here's a sedum, and alongside it, we've got our favorite little friend, our little hens and chicks do very well. If the drainage is very good, the times are doing very well. There's a little one in the corner here. 
some little pussy toes and a little sea thrift here and a little saxifrage growing quite nicely on the corner there. Now to get a container to get through the winter, it needs a special preparation. Even if you're growing something as hardy as a sedum, if it was to get waterlogged, the plant would rot out. It wouldn't be the cold that kills them. And when we come back, I'm gonna show you how to put together our spectacular sedum planter. Don't go away.